English. Thank you, Lucius. I love this outfit as well. It's very cute. No, no, no. You don't want to skip the prologue. It's fine. So what do you think, Joe? I think it's bullshit. It's fully With voiced. voice war, it was honest to God truth. Sure he did. He's a big fat liar. He's not. He heard his uncle talk about it, and he's a gangster. Gangster my ass. He works in the second-hand furniture store. Whatever. So what's the plan? I'm gonna check out the building site. You're so dumb. I know it's there! And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. Oh, it's... Oh! Didn't expect that. Right, give me a sec. Uh... So I'm guessing this the, the, those options are in the setup, which makes sense, I guess. Okay. Quick save, so like quick saves, game, gamma level, that's fine. Auto save. Auto save on and off. Okay, cool y'all. Um and we are back here. I thought I thought the game is gonna like <laughs> right. Oof, okay. Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe it is what it is. Anyway. Maybe I need to do more research how to... Um... How to make this perform better. Um, so yeah, long, I guess long story short, I didn't do any intro or nothing. Long story short, this is a um, point and click um, horror-ish game, I guess. Well, it's quite creepy. Uh, there's a lot of gore, blood, stuff like that. So I guess if you guys are sensitive to stuff like that, then uh, I don't recommend. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of like serious topics in this game as well uh, As far as I remember because I I actually Watch this game not play this game because I as I said, I'm very particular with my horror and uh, I need to like see the game before I can decide if I will uh, own it or not um, <clears throat> So yeah, I played well watched watched this game uh, Back in 2000, I think 2017 or something, um, and I loved it. Um, and it, it's not, it's not Walk on a Park. It's very dark. It's very serious. It has multiple endings. I can mess it up like 100% and um, make everyone d die. Or yeah, uh, there is different choices in dialogues because this game has dialogue system. Um, uh, we're gonna have what we're gonna have, I guess. Um, it's very, very nice. And it's fully voiced, so I, I can save up my throat. Oh, she's pretty. I <laughs> oh, see, and this is like, yeah. Um... Wow, Chad! If I was a god, I would spend all nine lives with you. <laughs> ah, I forgot what I was. What was I gonna say? Let's just start simple. Let's start simple. Hi. 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 Nice day, huh? If you say so. I'll be humble. I'll be humble. I'm not gonna try to risk her. 
Or maybe there's no other choice. <laughs> I tr let's try raise her. If I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. Do you really think cats have nine lives? Sure. I like cats. I'm gonna have one when I'm older. Black. Like a devil. I love black cats. You okay. Do you live around here? No. Do you? I do now. We moved here from Seattle last year. You're American? Cool. Where are you from? Sweden. But you're not blonde. So? I just never mind. What are you doing in England? Oh, it's I came England. With my mom. She got offered a job and we stayed. And your dad? He didn't. Great, welcome. Hello. Thank you. I think one of my favorite Halloween outfits. Say three times just to be sure. <laughs> I know, I should. That's like in bother. Okay. Sorry about your dad. Don't be. He can fuck off. Oh ho ho! Why are you sitting here? My mom's inside. Eating. And she left you out here? I'm on a diet. That sucks. It's okay. I'm not hungry. Yeah, so that's what I was... Um, that's what, what I was... Trying to mention here. Like, it's gonna be difficult, guys. But, you know, sometimes... Sometimes media uh, in any way, like movie, video games, books, they, they they don't have to make you feel nice and happy to be incredible, okay? I'm sorry, angst. <laughs> nice flowers. Yeah, but I prefer red ones. Why? No reason. I just like red. back who brady the ice cream guy do you have ice cream in sweden do you have brains in america uh -huh. i know the place where cats go to die yeah it's just down the road a cat cemetery not quite it's just the backyard with some rubbish bins but the cats are really go there to die when they're old or sick it's really weird. I can show you. But I should probably wait for my mom. About that cat place. Yeah? You'd be back in five minutes. You act like a creep, Your main mom character. Would never know. I don't know. She'd be really mad at me. There are some nice red flowers not far from there. But I don't even know you. I'm Joe. Okay. And you? My name is Ivy. Come on then, Ivy. You don't want to sit here all day. Do you? Jesus, yeah, he's like Let's a Let's do something fun. Oh. Okay. Can I go there? No, I'm stuck here, huh? Is the uh, game looking alright stretched like this or should I go back to um uh, Yeah it's safe. Oh yeah uh, you can mess up the puzzles in this game and die, that's another thing. <laughs> Remind me to save.
Oh, she said she likes red flowers. I don't want to look like a sissy. <laughs> Give it to her. Be nice. Don't act like a creep. Do you like them? Wow. They're gorgeous. Here, let me pick some for you. No. Let them grow. They're beautiful as they are. You're right. It would be like killing them or something. Exactly. And this way, maybe they will make someone else feel happy too. Got ya. Eh, see? That whole thing, like that that uh, black thing that show up, that's the important decision that's gonna affect the ending. One cat, and it's not even dead. I bet it's a zombie cat. <laughs> I bet it's a zombie cat. They turn when they're out of lives. They don't. Trust me, <laughs> zombie cats are real. The giant ones are the worst. Yeah? Do they eat brains? You bet. <laughs> don't be silly. All cats are great, but I agree. You don't really like cats, do you? Not that much. I knew it. I don't hate them. But they're so cool. Look. Uh oh. Oh. Don't let it bite you. Exactly. Don't turn. Such a lovely pussy cat. Your turn. Huh? No. Come closer and stroke his head. Do I have to? Yes. <laughs> Why? Because. Uh huh. Oh, again. That was important. Oh man. Okay. I. I mean, I wanted to be straightforward with her. I didn't want to lie because I could sense that the. The guy didn't... Joe. Was his name Joe? Yeah, he didn't like cats, so I didn't want to be like, oh yeah, I like cats, but like I actually don't. <laughs> Let's do something fun with a random guy. Yeah, exactly. I know. But what if it is a zombie cat? And she's gonna hiss on him. Ah, okay. Well, it's fine. I guess cats don't really like me. Don't worry about it. I'll tell my black cat to go easy on you. <laughs> if we're... If we're still friends by then... Oh god, I just remember how good this game it's is. Brady. Sorry, I'm so Come fucking on, let's get some ice cream. I think I think we are playing this to, to the end. I'm sorry. No call of Cthulhu. I am just <laughs> She alright? Oh, okay. Joe Biden, stop. Uh, Bran is uh, such a nice guy. He's my dad's friend, which means free ice cream. Nice. Hey, Grady. Hey, little buddy. What can I do you for? Oh, God. Don't tell me that's gonna affect the ending. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, she said she likes red, so I would say strawberry. A strawberry ice lolly, please. Strawberry lolly, coming up. And what can I get for your little lady friend? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, come on. You've got to have some. I don't want any. Why not? Because... No. Just... No. So, 
if you didn't catch the the, the wink wink, uh, she has a bulimia. Uh, probably, probably because of her stupid mother. But I don't remember everything. Okay, I played this game. Played, watch this game. I come up. Uh, uh, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven years ago. So like, I don't remember. I barely remember anything. I only remember that I loved it. That's it. Don't you like ice cream? I do. But. She'll have the same as me. I said no, and no means no. You should probably go after her, dude. <laughs> Glad that the guy was supportive. I'm sorry. No. It's my fault. I, I freak out sometimes. It's okay. Are we good? We're good. Fist bump. <sighs> I found it. Really? Yes. It's right where he said it was. But I kind of need your help. It's stuck under this thing. What are you talking about? He thinks there's a suitcase of money hidden on this building site. I know it's there. Every Monday, they leave it there, and someone picks it up the next day. Wow. Really? You don't believe him, do you? Who knows? It could be true. It's drugs money. And it's just sitting there. Mm. Wait for us. Someone is gonna be upset <laughs> if we're gonna take it. This kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. But it's there. I can show you. There's a hole in the fence. Just follow me. I want to see. Let's do it, Joe. Mm, she's gonna probably get upset, but I'll try. It's not safe for you, Ivy. Just wait here. Really? It's a building site. I don't want you to get hurt. I won't. No. We'll be back in two minutes. We're gonna be rich. Oh! It worked! Ah, she's gonna follow. Ah. Hmm. Or maybe not? Ooh! It's there! Where? This way! And all honesty, Gray, I couldn't, I couldn't get through the cat lady. I tried because it's the same universe, but I, I couldn't get into it. I, I tried to watch it, just like I watched Downfall, and I don't know, it's just didn't, didn't click to me. I know that you can catch more um, wings and like character references if you play cat lady, but I, yeah, I, I, I like this. I like this. Yeah, yeah, this is the same universe as Cat Lady. If you play Cat Lady, let me know, because some people were freaking out when some characters were showing up later in the game. <laughs> so, ah, 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 this guy, this, this person, and I'm like watching the, the freaking video. I'm like, well, who? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> this? See the big X? This could mean anything. Yeah, but we could at least check. So why didn't you open this thing yet? I tried, but... Too heavy. It's too heavy. Ah. And you're stronger than me. I'm sure you can do it. Obviously. Hmm. Let's see. 
Oh, another one that was a decision. Right. Do something here? Right. Um, save. Looks too heavy to move it by hand. Uh, definitely not. We need to pry it open. I'll have a look around, see if I can find something. Yeah, exactly. Um, how to go back? Um, game. Whoa! Okay, aha! Uh -huh. Um. Uh, go back! Go back! Hello? Ah. Ah, okay. <laughs> hey, I think I found what we need. What are you doing here? Oh, she's in. I told you to wait. It's not safe. And miss the treasure hunt? I don't think so. Okay, okay. Just wait with my brother. I'll be right back. <laughs> At this we tried. Oh, I don't burn. Don't think it would be so. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Easy. Yeah, you can use it as a lift. Bro. Uh. All right. Was this game a release on? Oh, shit. What is it? That's our money. Away, both of you. It's grenades. A great bowl of freaking grenades. But where's the money? There is no money. I bet there never was. I don't believe this. Oh no, the brother is gonna die. Here? I don't know. Maybe it's terrorists. We should call the police. Yeah, but first, let's get out of here. This thing is not safe. Come on, Robbie. Mm -mm. No. What do you mean, no? I didn't come here for nothing. Sure, it's not the money, but this thing's gotta be worth something, right? Oh my god. Don't even think about it. I'm going to sell it. Gary, from the shop, he's always looking for stuff like this. you can prevent this but maybe oh my god ouch Fuck this. I was in my 20s when we met again. Straight away, I knew it was her. That same smile. Those same emerald eyes. 
She didn't remember me, I think. It was probably better that way. The chemistry was instant. We fell in love and got married within a few months. I never talked about Robbie, and neither did she. We were happy together. Then our luck ran out, and the cracks started to show. But I knew how to fix it. How? That was just the beginning. <laughs> that was just the prologue, man. Ouch. Do I kill my man? Messed up. I think. Now the game is gonna be mostly black and white, to be honest with you. Only with gore being very visible. The last warning for you guys. <laughs> the hell, troll thing? Well. Here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you all right? So, you're still not talking to me? Great. I can't say I'm surprised. This is so very much like... you. What have I done? We were driving, and then you went to sleep for a while, and... Really? What the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? I don't want to look like an idiot again, especially I don't see any people. since I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's right. Say nothing. Say fucking nothing. Whatever I did, I'm. I really wish you'd tell me what's wrong. No, he he wasn't able to say sorry. Oh, interesting. I give up. Let's book us in. There's got to be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? This door is gonna be huge. 
Never mind, everything that's red is visible. Because she has this ribbon and it's visible as well. Nobody here. It's hardly surprising this time of the night. Hello? Is anybody there? <sighs> There's nothing useful about it. You can call someone. I don't know who I call. Okay. We had a black cat once. I told Ivy I buried him in the park. She will she will never know. What did you do to the cat? How dare you? It reads teacup, the key master. There are um rich magnets advertising quiet heaven hotel. I will take one. Ivy likes collecting them. Ivy? Where are you going? No. Oh yeah, it's Kitty. Or maybe later. Devil came through here. Eh? What? What is that even supposed to mean? We are not alone, Joe. They are watching us. Who? These bad people. They live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? No, I can't. Thank you. Devour you whole, Joe. They, they will. No! Get away from me! I suck. I beg you for the raid. You choose a perfect time for a raid. I nearly had a heart attack there. <laughs> Who's gone? I don't understand. The big fast flesh eating nuggets with blood. Thank you for the follow. Bury me a few seconds. I can't stop this. <laughs> they are always hungry. And they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, that was scary. <laughs> As always, the freaking stream sounds louder than everything else, and it happens in the most creepiest part. <laughs> thank you for the follow uh, angel loves food thank you and thank you Isaka, for the raid i hope you had fun on your stream uh what you pre play a uh, green fandango i don't know what green fandango is but hopefully it was spooky <laughs> at least a little bit uh welcome guys i'm cat yeah kit cat um I, I call myself cat because my name is Catherine. i don't pretend to be any character or nothing i'm just me uh, even my freaking Twitch username is basically play on my own actual name. Um, and yeah, we're starting a spooky season. So I have um, I have my uh, Halloween outfit and we are playing a creepy point and click game called Downfall. Um, so uh, yeah, I am very particular about my horror and I don't like jump scares and shit like that. So um, this is very sto story focused and it's very... Uh, very cool and i love it and i played it well this is gonna this is my first time playing it <laughs> actually but i watched the game back in 2016 17 and i loved it so um yeah i'm very happy to uh, play it now on the spooky season <laughs> so yeah um 
Disclaimer, I'm loud in general. Like, in general, I'm very loud. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. I scream a lot. I make weird noises. That's my thing. That's my trademark. I uh, hope you will like it here. Um, so yeah, game game has uh, multiple choices as well and multiple endings. So depending on the dialogues I would choose, I will have a different ending. And uh, yeah, the game is quite messed up. So just saying, okay, just saying. There's a lot of gore. There's a lot of uh, violence. There's a lot of uh, very um, unsettling things. Uh, implications of not very pleasant things, very messed up things as well. So just saying, if you are sensitive to that type of stuff, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, but I still think this game is incredible, even considering that has very messed up uh, story and messed up story moments. Um, so yeah. Uh, we just arrived to this hotel with our, um, well, wife technically but uh, it seems that we are having some kind of uh, some kind of uh, married problems <laughs> couple problems it seems i don't know man it just started it's just the beginning of the game we just did the prologue which basically showed us as kids when we first met with our future wife and uh, our brother uh, dying that was something uh so yeah now it's like a time skip and we just arrived in this hotel it's like very very creepy and our wife is acting very, very weird as well. She's saying that she's seeing some some shit, and we're like, what, what are you talking about? Um, so, yeah. It's a puzzle game. Oh, nice. Okay. Cool. I will actually Google it, man. I, I, I never heard of that Grim. Maybe, maybe I did? Isn't that that skeleton guy? That point and click game, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. No, maybe I'm thinking about a different one. Okay, I'm not gonna be rude towards her. Let's just say this. This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I... I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. You need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. We'll be fine. Trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get to our room. Get some sleep. And I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Yeah, so as far as I remember, every time when the screen is doing that black thing, that means that I made a decision that is important for the ending. Oh yeah, and the game has... Uh, parts that you can die actually so uh, saving is required like I can mess up the puzzle and basically die yeah that's that's fun aha uh -huh, it's locked lovely and I make sure hello Whoa. may I help fuck you? my life <laughs> Jesus Christ Seriously? <laughs> I didn't expect that you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Seriously. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, well, it's look at that. It's actually quite surreal. Like, the game turned after the prologue. The game turned into black and white, and everything that's red is only visible. So that red ribbon that Ivy has, it's visible. And then the receptionist has like a some kind of jewelry, some kind of freaking belt, and we can see the gem being red. Hmm, interesting. There's gonna be a lot of symbolism, I think. Um, I, I I watched the game, but I uh, like back in 2017. But I don't remember like I remember only like so little. I don't remember any like puzzles. I don't remember how to solve them. I don't remember plot points. I I don't remember anything. I only remember that I loved it. That's basically what I remember. I was devastated and I loved it. Oh, that's what it was. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think she will. I don't think. I mean, technically. Hmm. 
Mm. I don't know. Should I be like very caring or should I? Um, I mean, I know that this whole place is like completely messed up. I mean, come on. So she's not gonna do anything about me, uh, like asking her, please help. Blah blah blah. Time to save scum in another game, true. Uh, might be wrong, but uh, I say it might be connected to how he sees things after his brother. That's a very good conclusion, I would say. That's a very good, good um, analysis here. I, f I mean, uh, catch as much as uh, those type of things as you, as you, humanly capable. Because not gonna lie, there's a lot of things that are not directly said in this game. So any anyone that wants to make some theories, I am very, very, very. Um, Happy to help and well, I very welcome that. Yes, let's go. Let's let's theorize. That just remind me of a situation where I can scare with someone screech them. I didn't expect the human being there. Okay, I mean I don't think she's a human. I think she's a demon, but that's that. <laughs> um. I don't know. Should I be more okay? We have a, a little Let's try. problem. My wife, she, she's not feeling too well. Is there a pharmacy still open? Oh my, not a headache, is it? Something like that. What a shame. But I'm afraid there's nothing I can do tonight, especially with the storm coming. There's a doctor staying in the hotel, though. He's practically a resident. We call him Dr. Z, a German chap. Mm. Talk to him in the morning. He might help. Right. Thanks. We'd like to get a room. I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! There's blood under her nails. Excuse me? I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Oh, all right. I understand. Oh, uh, well, but the room? I'm afraid there is one problem. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? Mm, symbolism. I would say. Them, like, splitting, basically. Them separating from each other. Not really, as a symbolism allegory. No, not really. Are there other hotels nearby? No. In a seaside town like this, I find that hard to believe. Believe what you like. I won't take much offense if you take your wife's side and call me a liar too. But there's a storm coming, Joe. A big one. I didn't introduce much myself. Safe on Quiet Haven tonight. Single or double bed. At least you won't get lost and drenched. Yeah, exactly. Did you just call me Joe? How do you know my name? I heard your wife say it. I hope you don't mind. She did. Most certainly. Just before, she called me a fucking liar. It's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. Well, you know, technically you guys can um, you guys can just move the beds together. It's not a big deal. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. 
The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8 a.m. Please don't be late. Right. The item has um uh like a red overlay as well. Key to our room. Um I'm still getting used to the controls, to be completely honest. Mm, it's a fridge magnet advertising, quiet heaven hotel, black card seems to be a the theme. I talk to her? No? Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Ah, okay. What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. Sure. Whatever. We'll try not to disturb anyone. Good night. Oh. Seems that was another important decision. Oh, an elephant. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, auto save. Good. Looks like the stairs are blocked with piles of old furniture. Why auto save? Safe, no bother. Somebody's gonna kill me, it's fine. It makes me feel like I am being watched. Was she gaslighting me? In one way, in what way? I actually didn't realize that. Um, R is um, um one, okay, the next one. Uh huh. Oh, sorry guys, if you're gonna hear fireworks, um, uh, you know, guy folks and stuff like that, British people. Hey, <laughs> okay, that. I don't hear the rain, I don't hear anything, what the hell? Creepy. What is happening to me, Joe? I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. Maybe you're just tired. I'm sure tomorrow, we won't even care about any of this. Wait, wait, wait. I'm losing my mind here. And you... You want me to fucking sleep! This is reality. I can't even imagine what my dreams would be like. But thanks for your input, Joe. Useful as ever. I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next... You're someone different. I don't even know. What if that person has always been in me? But you, you didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. Mm. You wanna bet. 
What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean, I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine, let's do this. Where do I start? <laughs> Nirvana t-shirt! When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. Oh, and this. Mm. That thing you do when you laugh, I love it. But most of all, I guess, I... I have a feeling that that gonna determine the ending, but I am just going with my heart, guys. I'm not checking any walkthrough. Don't say it. No, don't, don't. Beauty is a very temporary thing, and I personally don't see that as something you should say in a situation like this. I think the compliments or any type of uplifting things that you can say to another person they shouldn't evolve around something they cannot control in any way. So, how time affects you, it controls how you look. And I think complimenting someone's beauty, I don't know, it's... For me, it's a very slippery slope thing. I prefer to compliment someone's style, I prefer to compliment someone's like ability to do something, I prefer to compliment... Um, like, uh, like here, uh, a, a, a laugh, a smile, definitely a beauty in general. No, 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 no. It's, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just me. I can be myself around you. You like my smile? But I can't even remember the last time I smiled. And I've stopped laughing a long time ago. There's nothing funny about any of this and finally you are wrong thinking you know who you are because you're lost joe just like me i think it's time to say it loud and clear ivy i'm serious this stupid holiday it's never gonna fix anything it's too late for that so please say it joe say it so we can both be free. I still love you. No, that's the thing you don't. You have to understand that, Joe. Whatever that was between us, it's gone. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m., don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. My escape. My quiet haven. But this is the name of the hotel. Oh, 
Hel Helen Road, but it's it's like hell. Oh, lo oh uh, uh, clever, clever. This is where we live. Is that childhood trauma? Are we gonna have some? Are we gonna have some um um memories? A communal mailbox. Joe and Ivy Davis, flat four. Looks like there is something inside. It's locked, but maybe I could just force it open. Damn it! My fingers are too big. If only I could uh, pry open with something. Okay. Okay. Maybe magnet. No, we can't think of any. Okay, fair. <laughs> I was trying, man. I remember this guy, Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been our home ever since. Maybe I'm gonna find something later on. No, even if I had time for this, they all, um, they all willed anyway. Mm, flowers, freaking dead. Mm, yeah. Looks like it's been moved recently. Mm, search. This looks like one of my books. What is it doing here? Your books? Like what? Did you... Your favorite book or... Most of the books I own are written by Stephen King. What can I say? I'm a fan. Oh. <laughs> hey! A screwdriver inside the book? How odd. I would better take it with me. That explains your messed up dream. Oh, brick wall. Great. The staircase has been blocked by this wall. Eh, normal Friday. Pretty obvious what we need to do. Oh, letter. What what what's inside? It's from Frank Zellman. Do I know him? The name seems vaguely familiar. Vaguely, vaguely, vaguely. I can't say that word. There is a ten-pound note and a key inside. Weird. Why would I? Why would anyone send me this? Why would anyone send me money? Okay, maybe we're gonna need it for something. Who knows? Um, whoever sent me this key must be trying to help me. I think so. Probably this door is closed. This door to the basement. Nobody goes down there anymore. It's probably closed, and that's the key to that. Yeah. Pretty obvious, I guess. Uh, it wouldn't work. The furnace has been broken for years. No, oh, we can always try. You never know. It's your dreamland. Nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Rusty old furnace. And yeah, it's broken. Probably you're gonna open? Probably gonna have to burn something? I have no clue, man. Oh, cut. Cut clock. All right. I hate when the staircase in my house get blocked by a random. <laughs> exactly, like wow, you know, <laughs> every Friday, right? Our cat Lucifer would have loved this toy clock. Oh fuck the game! We can grab the clock and it's complete silence. Who's there? Hey, who are you? Oh, fuck my life! No, 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 no,
You even buy this sort of stuff. I don't know. The cat seems to love it though. Not now? What do you mean not now? What am I supposed to do? I think I sh I mean... I don't know. I don't... I, I don't... I mean... I don't feel comfortable approaching this thing. But I, I'm, I'm unsure if I have any other choice. Because I don't know what else I could do! Do! Oh my god, 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 ah! And dead. Oh well, first death. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> ah! Huh. Okay, well. Did I do something there? Did I mess it up? Hmm, let me think. W were we able? Was I able to do anything there? Can someone please, like, think with me? Give him 10 pounds! Maybe he will change his mind! <laughs> Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. It's breakfast time. I couldn't react to the in a fa like with a fairness. Technically, I, I was thinking maybe I could do something with fairness, but then, nah. This is all wrong. Ivy always slept on my left side. Oh, for real. <laughs> okay, never mind then. <laughs> It's very odd at uh, the mirror, okay. Single bed. No, that's not alright. We've been together for nearly 10 years. Wow, you guys been together in 10 years? Wow, lovely. That's a long time for two people to be to be so close. I believe in you guys. I think this place is messing messing. With your heads. So apparently we are not supposed to disturb the woman in this room. I wouldn't. I'm too scared. <laughs> Still raining? Are you shitting me? I can still do anything about the mirror. That was interesting. So the guy that attacked me was me, but like completely disfigured and messed up. Hmm. Fun times. Aha! Uh -huh. Good morning, Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? Where's my wife? Where the fuck is my wife? Uh, Mr. Davis? Such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were, after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. Where the fuck is my wife? Oh, she had to go. Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note. A letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? What the fuck is this? It's just a dining room. Breakfast service, as usual. You know, mm. all bad memories of the night tend to just go away with that first sip of coffee. These are not people. No, it's a shame. 
And yet they still come here every morning. Sometimes they never leave. Mm -hmm. Who are you? What a personal question, Joe. You surprised me again. But perhaps this is something we should discuss over a bottle of wine on some other occasion. Mm. I have a little office on the top floor. I'm always there. Huh. Some kind of... I don't know who... Who that could be. I don't know the freaking... Hell... Mythology... <laughs> that well. Besides the games and Dante's Inferno. Who is that, Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. Oh. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake... She will never leave. If she's even half as mad as you, my wife's not safe with that, Sophie. And I thought we were friends, Joe. But I can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. I don't care about breakfast. Well, that's not good. They say it's the most important to me of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. I've left a key to Sophie's room on the reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. Cool. Uh, uh. Oh! Oh, fuck my life. That's a cat from my... from my childhood. Oh, mother! <sighs> oh! oh! Okay, yeah, everything is messed up. Oh, at least the painting has color now. Black and white. Oh, cool. Excuse me? Which way? way? I have no clue, man. Na na is something indicating like all like the reflection in some way is indicating hmm. is maybe that painting some kind of blue Check if there's anything here, just in case. She's gonna be there with all the dead. No. Can still enter the kitchen? No. I think that was the cat from the prologue. You remember that black cat? That uh, Ivy petted and then uh, when Joe tried, the cat ran away. I think that was that cat. Or it could be Lucifer. Their cat that they had. I'm still curious what Joe did to the cat, though. Okay, so it seems that this painting... Uh-huh. 
But the painting changed now, that's nice. Um Nothing changed here. What items do I have? I have a magnet, I have the 10 pound notes, and I have the clock. That's it. Can I examine the clock now? Okay. Same. Oh, different painting again. What the hell? Oh, I think I start to get it. I think I get it. There is a sequence in those paintings. So, okay. So, I am guessing this is the first painting that the horse thing. The second painting is the blue whatever. The third painting is this weird guys okay cool then are the flower people and then it's coming back to the horse no it's the messed up faces and then it's the horse oh god man how am i supposed to remember this fuck my life um um Right, no notebook time. Um, where are my notepad? Right, um, and I need pen or something. Right, first horse, second. Okay, that's different painting now, Ayo. Hmm. Right, let's... Let's try with a horse first and let's see what's gonna happen. Ah, shit, I dropped, dropped my... Thing. Right, the ho horse is the second door. I think that was the wrong decision. Draft coming through. it later drift dr the, the fucking cold air i <laughs> i know what i meant <laughs> oh i'm back here again 
There you are. Oh, he's sitting in the place where I found the clock. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. So why are we like this towards the cat? Oh man, are we gonna kill a cat? <laughs> I don't want to kill a cat, but I think I don't have any other choice. supposed to kill a cat though mm. what if it's just a theory a game theory Need to fix the furnace though somehow. How to fix the furnace? Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! It's gonna attract the cat because he even mentioned that the uh, Lucifer, their cat, liked that toy. So that, that, that clock. Lovely. Hi. Uh, hi. Give me a minute. Um Oh Uh-huh Okay, so I guess Lori's theory was correct that could represent their card, so Lucifer. Oh, fuck my life. You can see charred remains of the cat. I didn't mean to do this. The furnace was supposed to be broken. This is too hot. Fuck. Use a magnet? Let's try this. Oh. Have it at me. I've got it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, the guy with the, the, the well, me with the, with the fucking... Axe is, is doing something. Hmm. <laughs> what? How did I... Get here. Funny. Curio, creepy as hell. Ah, that's actually a good assumption. He's fighting with his own self. That's, yeah, that, that is a nice symbolism. Red item needed? What do you mean? Cool. 
Why is she wearing a mask? Who are you? You know damn well who I am, Joe. Is your name Sophie? <laughs> See? It wasn't that hard now, was it? Um, this is some kind of spiritual messed up uh, journey inside our head. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> What is this place? Why all the... mirrors? <laughs> this is the madness, Joe. Let's try to enjoy it while we can. I'm not mad. It's this place that's mad. You didn't answer my question. Where are we? I don't know where you are, Joe. But I am home. Why did you break all these mirrors? Let's just say your lovely wife can put up quite a fight. But it was not enough. Where's my wife? She's still around here somewhere, but hidden away, so you couldn't find her. But why? Why would she have to hide from me? She found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. E, 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 I have a, I have a thing, I have a thing. So, I am 99% sure that she had a bu bulimia because of her stupid messed up mother. I think her stupid messed up mother put some kind of um, trauma uh, on her with, you know, eating in general. That's why she, uh, when we met her, her mom was inside the restaurant and she wasn't allowed inside because her mom was basically Im like Im implying, Im implementing, oh, implementing this whole thing inside her head. Um, and that's why she said no to the ice cream as well. I think uh, her mom made her hate food um, and isn't that the thing with people that have a bulimia that they basically like, hate their reflection? Like they always see their reflection as something completely different. I mean, metaphorically, of course. They're usually th that's how they represent bulimia in media. That the person that is uh, suffering from bulimia, you see them as incredibly thin and incredibly like like a skeleton, basically. But they see the each other as fat and disgusting. So. Maybe this whole mirror thing is is his wife seeing her reflection and you know being like completely mad about her own reflection, right? And smacking all the mirrors. Uh, that's that's my theory. Did you say a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. It's been lurking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. <laughs> and if you start listening, it grows stronger. Then, then there is no going back. You fall and Keep falling until there is nothing. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Go on, see it for yourself. Okay, I'll do it. Which one? Any. It's cracked just like other mirrors in here. Is he gonna see himself like with the axe and with blood and stuff? Is that the case? Ah, six. <laughs> six zero six. Lovely. Ah, oh, no, six six. Even better. 
Oh, that's the that's the mirror in that um, that room. Oh. saw it for yourself. Isn't she a pretty, pretty girl? <laughs> mm. It doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. It won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes, there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, you can achieve the impossible. I'll do anything to save Ivy. Good. Then I'll tell you what to do. It's very... simple, really. You just have to kill me. What? Why? I want to die, Joe. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. What do you mean, you're a memory? That's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. There are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics. But not me. If you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror. The only one that's still not broken. But, how do I know if you're telling the truth? Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> I'd already told you. This is the madness, Joe. I can't just kill you. Who do you think I am? <laughs> but you killed the cat, didn't you? Yeah. I didn't kill the cat. It was that creep with an axe. Ah, the sweet denial. You don't understand what happened. I... I didn't mean to burn it. But what else could you have done to get that key? Wait for that poor animal to shit it out? No. We both know the truth, Joe. You are not a patient man. <laughs> you you go away. thought that this kitty had to fry. Now be a man and admit it. And then kill me. I swear, I didn't kill the cat on purpose. An accident? Interesting. But, never mind. What happened happened, Joe. Why should you explain yourself to me? This is... so messed up. It's very simple. Kill four memories. But me first. Mm. I can do this without your help. Joe, you never listen. It's time to open your eyes. How? How should I kill you? Poison me. What? Just give me something. I want to go to sleep and never wake up again. It won't hurt that way. I... I don't. I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison down in the basement. 
All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. And that's why I have to die first. I'll think about it. Oh, I know you will. Question I have is, um... Is there any other way to solve this differently? Down, should be down. Ivy, very helpful. I did save just a second ago. Ground floor first for a second row, fourth floor. Check all of them. Ah, oh, now it's this open. Okay. Is there anything inside my room? I'll actually check. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's from Ivy. Part of the letters has been torn off. I think that's important. I miss you. You know. We were good together. Always there. When I was falling. And bad felt better. Every time. With you. Okay, time to find all the letters. Need to check all the previous um, locations in that case. Just in case! Devil came through here. Mm, lovely. Very nice. This gigantic mirror is gonna be important. We saw that the uh, very disgusting gigantic monster in, in front of it, so... Maybe mom is not skinny once, so she won't try to be skinny, so she hate on self and then allow on child eat. Yeah, probably. Yeah, usually it is that way, isn't it? That the parents are um, projecting. Let's go again. Uh, the parents are projecting some some unfulfilled. Um, dreams on them, on their, on their kids. The 
there was a not there was one not cracked mirror or oh, was it Ooh, gonna have to check i gonna have to i i, I want to I want to check if there's any maybe letters somewhere, but no. Okay, right. We checked the first floor. Um, now the second one. Oh, hi. Fancy meeting you here, Joe. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Oh, it must be that weather. Nasty. Then again, it always rains here. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. Oh, yes. The lovely Ivy. Or rather, the ungrateful bitch always busy fucking your life up. You know nothing about Ivy. Still searching for her, are we? Well, go on then. I'll wait. Just let me know when you've had enough. Then you can have me. Any way you want. She is some kind of temptation representation. <laughs> Are you coming on to me? Maybe. Don't. You're playing hard to get, but I know deep inside, you're burning with desire. I've got to go now. It gets busy this time of day. Mm. But come find me in my office later. And then we can finally get really naughty. No, thank you. Thanks. All of them are probably locked. I'm not even bother checking, but it's a vending machine that sell a pack of cigarettes. Okay. Um. There are 10 pounds a pack. I should put the money in the slot. Oh! Nothing. Mm. Technically, I can use it because I have 10 pounds, but maybe... I don't know. Maybe I will need it somewhere else. Right, let's remember that. I'm just checking. Maybe. Okay, my theory is that we are inside, um, we are inside uh, Ivy's head. Like, this is her psyche. Oh, lovely, what the hell? Why? Wh why is there redness there? Is that blood? Is that a dress? What is this? Oh, I come back, I did the full circle. Okay, okay, um... Alright. We have a cig uh, c cigarette thing. Should I get it? I saved. I could save on the slot 4 just in case. There's some kind of noise here when I walk. Okay, we have it. I don't think there's multiple. No, no, no. The pack got stuck. No, no shake, no Come shake. Come out, you damn thing. Come out. Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Fuck! 
we need another tenor. <laughs> Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Okay, we need to find another tenor. Maybe the other way would be faster. I don't know. Ah, whatever. Let's go this way, maybe. Let's check out the floors. Floor three. I can't just kill you now, black cat. <laughs> oh, auto save. Private party tonight. Invitation only. It's dark inside. I guess the party hasn't started yet. Okay. Locked. Locked. Painting of lady wearing a hat. I feel like her eyes have been following me around the room. Hmm. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, there is a blood on the door. Oh, what the fuck? She slashed her wrist in the bath. What a nasty way to do. Ah, stop. No. Oh, man. Normally, I... I'd steer clear of dirty needles, uh, but today is not a normal day. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we'll need it. It's pretty obvious she blow her head off with a shotgun. Those stiff dead fingers will never lose those grip on the gun. Shit. What a damn what's a damn cooker doing in the bathroom? Nothing happens. The gas supply has probably been turned off. Hmm, interesting, okay. It must be one of the four incarnations of Sophie. Looks half dead already. Yeah. Where's my wife? You will never find her. She is mine. Mine. Mm. I think this is a pers personification of bulimia. We can. It's not your time yet, but I'll be back soon. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we have that. That's nice. Uh, all right. Maybe this whole thing, a uh, different approach. Maybe it's it's his division because we technically, I think we're technically exploring his side, right? So, and his mind. So I think this is his in like view and interpretation of helping his wife and trying to fight fight with her, for her, right? From bulimia. Fascinating, fascinating. Oh, fuck my life! Um... We are not allowed? Is that the case? Oh, fuck you and your...
Not now! I'm not allowed to Mr. Fucking Doctor's place. It seems. Hmm. Okay. Sophie number one, do you have anything to say? Yeah, uh, the elephant was there, always there. No, all of the mirrors are cracked. All of them. No. I'll think about it. Don't think too long. All of them have some kind of red, um, something red, basically, somewhere. All right, so we, ah, uh, we have a syringe. What's that syringe? Oh, yeah, I've completely forgot. Uh, examine. Is, th is there n uh, nothing inside or what's the deal? Hmm. We have a syringe. We have a syringe. Okay, we can maybe take some kind of poison to the fucking syringe? Uh, did I saw a poison? Maybe... no. The poison is in the doctor's place, but we are not allowed there for now. Hmm. Can't get the. Um... Hmm. I can't get the shotgun. Not sure how I would. I can't turn on the gas for now. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do with the syringe. Can I just like use it on her? But I don't think there's something in the. Um. Wait. Can't do anything with syringe here. Okay, so yeah, so it's empty. I would say. Hmm. Can I try again to get to the doctor's? Place, but the game, I think the game is gonna reject me. Because we need to do something specific. Yeah. We need to do something specific before we get to. Uh, um. Before we get to the doctor's. Uh, stash. <laughs> um. Did I forget about something? Can someone refresh my memory? The only thing I can I am I can capable to think um about currently is the, all those locked rooms on the second floor because I didn't check all of them. Maybe one of them is open, you never know. 
Um. Oh, see? Uh, looks like a ter terrarium for a spider. Oh no. Have a terrarium now. Oh, elect that's electric chair. Oh my. Oh, oh. Not wait a minute. Were you supposed to be on the ground, on the on the bottom, bottom? Why are you here? Hi. What's that? I'm busy. Just get on with it and be quick. Who are you? Why? Have we not been acquainted yet? I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor, performing brain surgery. A live brain surgery. Jesus, man, what the? Now this, this here, is called a Lazarus sign. Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem. But I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. So, it's an autopsy? Not exactly. I'm still trying to save her. You said she's dead. It's too late. It is never too late. Who is she anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. I think her name is Agnes. So you knew her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. What's going on here? Oh, I'll tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on, and I'm not impressed. What bad things? Don't tell me you tell didn't me notice. <laughs> the whispering from the walls. Those shadows in the corner of my eye, they move when I look at them, but they're there, all right. Watching. You're crazy. No, 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 no. It's this place that is crazy. I'm only trying to fix it. I'm trying to find my wife. Well, you won't find her here, that is certain. Most visitors I get are stiff as a board. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. Sorry, I'm pouring myself a tea. Right. Who are you, really? Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one can. Downfall! Guys, roll the credits! <laughs> Can you save me? Yes. Mm. But I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Bring me something. From the cellar. I'll give you the key. Bring what? You'll know when you see it. I'm sure you will. Can you go and fetch it for me? Okay. Fine. I'll go to the cellar. Good. Go. Quickly. Here's the key. Here's I'll the get key. everything ready. Can you hear that? It's the ticking of the clock. And it's getting louder! <laughs> Chill! Tempting. Oh god! No, you don't. Wait. There are... Um, those are the scans. What are they called? 
like the rib cage, the you know bones can what what they call it? I forgot. Is that supposed to tell me something? Okay, we have a we have a um cellar key. There was a cellar door. I'm sure I saw it. Um, I, uh, where was it? <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I thought he will say Ivy, but maybe he doesn't remember her name. Maybe it is actually Ivy. You never know. Maybe that's another symbolism. I think this room is gonna be important. Just checking. <laughs> nice music, though. I love, I love any like, um background music like video game ost type of music that has some kind of female voice singing or something i don't know i just love it man all right can i now get to the fourth floor because i have a feeling that was where the cellar was mm -mm. Wait a minute, I remember! I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, it's fine, we, yes, hooray, we, we, we got to the place we're supposed to be, actually. I'm still trying to look for the, um, letters from Ivy. Maybe they spawn. Yes, I remember, it was here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this button. Was this game um, released on phones or something like that? Because like the controls are so interesting. For I have no idea what I'm a PC for. game. You'll know it when you see it, he says. Yeah, right. Uh, auto save, good. Thank you. It's a bottle of castor, castor oil, never to be consumed with a blueberry pies. What? Okay. Okay, it's on. All right. Maybe I need to. Chef's jacket. Chef's jacket. Standard chef's uniform surely sent down here for cleaning. It's off, no use to me, but maybe there is something. Yeah, there's probably, probably key, probably key. Yeah, there's a key for kitchen. Right. Nice, nice, nice. Progress, progress, ladies and gentlemen. Notice if it wasn't for the lights coming through the gap. Yay! Turn on the lights. I feel. Oh, never mind. We can't. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I needed in my life. First person perspective. What the fuck is this? Oh, gas supply! Gas supply! Guys, guys! Oh my god, we're cooking. We're cooking, man. This seems to be the hotel's main gas supply switch. It currently is in off position. 
Let's go. We're gonna have gas now. I switched it on. Let's go. Off, off. Whoa. Do I know this person? No, that's impossible. Wasn't that supposed to represent your brother? Fuck. I was about to say that looks like a room. Hmm. And you're gonna be there now, right? Thanks for doing the dishes. I oh. Thanks for making dinner. It is nice. Memory. I'm just... I'm just glad you're eating again. It got me a little worried, you know, mm. this whole... Can we just forget about it? Uh, oh, no. I'm she's, fine. He's not eating. There is nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. And she goes to the bathroom. And she's gonna fall. Oh, I'm playing as, as Ivy! Who's done this? Wouldn't budge. Ah, yeah, this is... Ah. Fuck my life. You stupid cat. Yeah, this is, um... This is a... This is a hard, um... B bulimia a a allegory, man. Symbolism. <laughs> oh, fuck my life! Fuck my life! Fuck my life! No! 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 Okay. Ugly bitch. Everyone's looking at you. No oh, anxiety. Your fat, disgusting body on their tongues. Let me out, please. Just let me out. Mm -hmm. There is only one way out. Mm -hmm. And you know it. Mm -hmm. Because you've been there many times before. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to. Quiet. Now, be a good fat little girl and crawl into that hole before anyone sees you. Oh, man. That's messed up. Sad. They're not gonna show it, but it's it's come on. Wow. <sighs> Lovely. This brain looks so fresh. Is this the item I was asked to fetch from the cellar? I bet my last cigarette that it is. Oh. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. Oh, There's right. got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. Uh, yeah, I, I do have this. The brain will certainly fit inside, but I need to figure out how to keep it fresh first. Hmm, true. Um, maybe... Can I use that, 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 that thing on, on, on... Can I combine items? I don't get that fucking thing. Never consume with a blueberry pies. What do you mean by this?
All these bottles, are they poison? My god. You just have to kill me. We kill memories all the time. Okay. I can do this. But I've only got one shot. Which one do I take? Oh, man! Blue color of sky water. Her eyes were never blue. They were green. I would take blue <laughs> if my choice is going to change anything. Ah, right. I'm sure one of these would give somebody a peaceful death. But which one? Well, here goes nothing. It's time for your medicine, girl. Uh, maybe later on I will get that um... Whoa ho, dubstep man what you wanted it seems so but will it hurt i don't really know i hope not you don't know are you sure it's are you even sure it's gonna kill me There was poison written on the bottle, and a picture of a skull. Okay, that sounds about right, I guess. But I'm gonna ask you one last favor. Can you do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't. I can't do it myself. No. Please. I'm begging you. Oh, God, no. No. I don't want your blood on my hands. But, Joe, you are already covered in it from head to toes. I said no. Fine. I'll do it myself. Perhaps I should. Good luck, Joe Davis. For what it's worth. I hope you find your ivy. Mm. Fun. She's gone. I knew she wasn't real, but what's this dress still doing here? Why do I need that dress? It's almost clean. No thanks. <laughs> okay, um, 
we did that, we did that. Um, what now? Oh, yes, we can go to the... We can go to that place. Second floor, was it? No, third floor. Ah, uh, yeah, that boom was very similar to the boom in the prologue, was it? We have gas on now. That's that. That could change something. I should probably go. It's not safe here. But now? I don't have anything that will trigger a fire though. didn't change much maybe that oil but a bottle of cast oil never consume with a blueberry what do you mean can't turn it off again so it seems that that's the thing. No, oh, wrong buttons. Oh, the buttons are so confusing. Probably need some kind of fire. Like a... Ooh! Cigar! Oh man, but how am I supposed to get the other tenor? Oh fuck, I need a cigar! Shit! Right, uh, oh yeah, we have a kitchen key actually. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I don't know, not examine use. There's one big bl that's one okay, one big blender. No point switching on now when it's empty. Okay, we have a blender. It's empty. There's nothing in the pot, I would just burn it. Rotten pig, nice. Uh, this pig has been dead for a long time. Okay. Ice pick. Trap and sturdy. Okay. Oh, lovely. One of the few free freezes in here that aren't completely frozen shot. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. We can we can pr pr provide the, the the brain. I think it's dead or just asleep. Oh, lovely! I can talk to the pig. I know you're just a pig, but I want to tell you this. Oh. Fuck you. Sorry, dude. I screw up, man. Okay. Now nah, forget it. Okay. I screwed up, man. Oh. 
And that, that was important decision. Are you shitting me? <laughs> okay. I, I need the ice thing. Ice big, big thing. Okay. Um, blah, 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 blah. This button. Blah. Uh, okay. One of the few things is okay. Okay, take the ice. Right. And now, is something inside there? No. I mean, why is there a... Okay, now I have ice. Yay! Now we can put the brain! Alright, let's go and check the brain, I guess. Um... Right. Um... No, 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 just... Um... No, no, I don't want to use anything. I just want to use a panel. Um, brain. Where was the brain? Um, uh, oh god, oh god, I'm trying to reverse my memory here. Um, I was here. Right, 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 right. Oh, seriously, I need to watch this. I don't. I don't want to. Um. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Seriously, I need to look. Okay, now I need to use it. Ugh. Okay. Come on, buddy. We're going for a walk. <laughs> Interruption. You know, I have a weird feeling that I'm gonna have to turn off the gas, you know? I'm gonna... Because uh, now the switches are on. So I'm gonna turn off the gas. Then I'm gonna get that cigar, place it there, somewhere. I don't know, somewhere. And then I'm gonna have to go back here and put on gas on again. I think that's my theory. I've switched it off now. So I am doing it, just in case. I think that's the solution, and I'm gonna get the shotgun that way, and I'm gonna g uh, kill that other Sophie. Right, and now the doctor is on the second floor. Is something changed in my room? Well, I was hoping maybe I would get the other letter or something from Ivy. Um, second. What's up with that electric chair, though? I'm actually scared of it. Ah, I see you have it. Quick, give it to me. Give it to me, boy. Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes, now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Or what's left of it, anyway. You can't just plant a dead brain inside her head. And yet, that is exactly what we'll do. I'll stay and watch just to say told you when this fails. That is quite all right with me. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. Oh. This cavity here... Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Lovely. Put some elbow grease into it, boy. <laughs> That's better. And a little push. Hmm, maybe this way. 
It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. It's in! We've done it, boy! Is it that some kind of like um, symbolism with uh, like they were trying to help her? Like they were trying, you know, doctors and psychiatrists, etc., trying to help her um, change her behavior, change her brain, in quotes, to not see herself as a monster and fight the bulimia? Now I'm sure you really are mad. You keep saying that, yet you held that woman's head exactly like I asked. What does that say about you to follow the instructions of a madman? Hi. It doesn't matter. I wouldn't care either way. Let's focus on our task. Now that everything is ready, it is time for the machine. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead, have you forgotten? No, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. I'll let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Uh. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool. Now, the lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. Electric shock, man. Like in Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. I don't think that worked. I don't understand. Have we run out of power? Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. And what am I supposed to do? Is this an electric chair? There's some cables running from the chair further into the room. Is it in an old Sparky? That's a terrible idea. <laughs> Hello? What? Where? What is... Hello? No way. Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Okay, I have a dress. Is that gonna help? Here. Put this on. Whoa! Magic! Really? A wedding dress? I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. So you just pulled this thing out of garbage? Wow, this is so neat. How did you know? I can tell already that you and me are going to be the best of friends. I'll gladly take it back if it's not good enough for you. You can go looking for your own dress. And good luck with that. You can go looking for your own dress. Look at him all smug and condescending. 
You can see damn well I have no great choice here. I'd wear a chicken costume if you brought one. Then what are you moaning for? Ah! Who's moaning? Uh. You're moaning. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Uh, yes, uh, well, uh, when I asked him to do it, he was saying no, yeah. no thanks. That's There's it. What on it? Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife to be to get this dress? No, of course not. Why do I not believe you? <laughs> what? How do I look? <laughs> She's so pretty. Different than I expected. Like a gypsy princess? Oh, you remind me of someone I used to know. You really remind me of somebody I used to know. Somebody Was that it a I used really to hot know. Tony out of your league supermodel friend? Huh? Just kidding. Wouldn't want you to think I'm some big headed, looks obsessed, and really shallow deep inside person. Huh? To think about it, I'm probably somewhere in between. What are you talking about? I'm just saying, you'll have to try a bit harder. I want an honest opinion. How do I look? <laughs> Good one. Yeah, good, you look good. <laughs> ah, I'm disappointed go reanimate someone else now. Different than I expected. Different than I expected. Yeah? And what exactly did you expect? Let me guess. Some sexy blonde bimbo with breasts the size of grapefruits? I, I mean, watermelons? <laughs> not at all. You're wrong. I'm not like that. No, you're wrong. What? Not all grapefruits grow to be the size of cannonballs. <sighs> okay, let's just rewind for a second. How do I look? <laughs> good. Y yeah, you look good. I do? Mm, yeah, sure. Thank you. So, good, but not great. Actually, you know what? You, you do look great. <laughs> Yep, totally great. Green eyes, very pretty. Lovely posture, and the hair, it's very long and black. Oh, stop it. I meant the dress. Huh? I know damn well my eyes are green and my hair is black. What I want to know is this. How do I look in this dress? Wasn't that... G great? Wait. I'm warning you. G great. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wasn't there? Uh, he said uh, some description of something said that Ivy's eyes weren't actually blue; they were green. Uh, uh, ah, when we checked the poison, he said that. Huh. <laughs> okay. Okay. We have a lot of representations of Ivy here, so I am guessing. I am guessing this girl is maybe like a... She represents the... All the qualities that he fall in love with. When he fall in love with Ivy. Um... Oh my god! Uh, uh, okay, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry, fun girl moment. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Thanks. I kind of do, don't I? I never pictured myself wearing a freaking wedding dress, but hey, I guess this could totally be my new thing. Or not. It's not really my color, <laughs> and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Exactly. 
Do you at least remember your name? Why, do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait, maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Agnes, was it? That's what doctor said at least. Your name is Agnes. Damn right it is. Cool. So we do know each other then. Not really. A guy who runs this place told me your name. And how did he know? Apparently, it was embroidered on your knickers. So he took them? Just wait till I get him. You <laughs> freaking creep stealing ladies' eh? panties. <laughs> eh? <laughs> what the fuck? Tell, tell, what the hell? <laughs> Agnes will remember this! What the fuck? <laughs> How did you die? I can't remember. Or don't want to. It's probably one of the two, but it could be both, or neither. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. I'm not. <laughs> I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah... I was afraid you'd say that, but you won't let anything happen to me, right? I promise. I'll keep you safe. And what if I trip over the stupid wedding dress and break my neck on the stairs? I'll catch you. Aw, that's really nice. <laughs> Really. You know what? If you ever fall, I'll catch you too. Aww. Yeah. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. <sighs> it does? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. Oh my gosh, And when so I first cute. saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? <laughs> and it's you. A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I <laughs> came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Of course I've still got it. But since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Of course. Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The right. note. I'll get the note out. Right, right, right. Good that you clarify that. Is that okay? <laughs> Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? <laughs> oh my god, I can. Uh, that's <laughs> so. Ah! Run! Why is she covering her eyes? No, 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 no! What am I supposed to do? Move, move, move! Fuck! Fuck! Oh! What? Um... Is there anything I could do? Every fucking time when, the f when, when, when this motherfucker is showing up, I don't know what to do! Uh, 
What the fuck? Lovely weather. That's not a lovely weather, woman. Don't worry, Mr. Moose. Everything's gonna be just fine. I really don't know what to say. I don't even know the, uh, whose room is this. Looks warm. Okay. Nice door, I guess. Close. I'm locked in. Okay, we need to use the. Who is it? The door's locked, and I don't have a key. So please go away, yeah. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Whoever you are, go away. We need to use the window. We need to use the window. Go, 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 go. Okay. Don't panic, Agnes. We need to... We need to get out of here. Fast. Use the blanket. Maybe on Mr. Moose? No, what? what? Start with something a little longer, maybe. Ah, uh, bed sheet, bed sheet. Um. No! Oh, I need to take them, right. Stop fucking! Right. Please excuse me, Mr. Moose. Stop knocking! He's back. What's the deal with this guy? What's his problem? <gasps> okay, all right. But that's okay, I don't in, intend to get back in there again. I could probably climb over it if I wasn't wearing this stupid wedding dress. Locked, of course. Someone parked in the middle of the lawn. Not cool. <laughs> Isn't that the Joe's car and Ivy's? This car could be my ticket out of here. The only problem is I can't drive. <laughs> oh, whoops. He's in the ignition. Lucky me. Maybe. If I put something heavy on the gas pedal, the car would break through the fence. Genius! Nothing. 
No, I, uh, she doesn't have anything. A fake Roman god gaze upon the hotel's garden. I will take the head. There's a text there, but I can't read it. Out the fire. Agnes, where are we going? I don't think it's safe. I don't want to go there. Oh, fucking Slenderman. Oh, sweet. That looking doll who left it here. It's hard to imagine a child would play in a place like this. Oh my god, no, this is... <laughs> no... No... No! Oh, Jesus, there is... Oh, man... There's a fucking... Oh... Someone painted a door frame on this wall, if only it was real. Probably I need to find a doorknob and maybe a turn real. <sighs> like my life. Something's gonna run through here. Uh-huh. Right, coolio, coolio. Oh, oh! Ivy! Why is she sitting alone in the empty room? She must be mad. Hello? Who are you? I'm Ivy. Okay. Hi, Ivy. I'm Agnes. I'm terrible with names. So, I probably won't remember it anyway. Just say what you want and leave me be. I'm not looking for company. I promise I won't take much of your time. Someone's following me. We need to get out of here. I can't. But... It's some crazy mother. He's got an axe. I know. But she... Who? Shh. She. Who is she? She is the monster that keeps me here. A fat little maggot that crawled inside my head and refuses to leave. She's a god and the devil. A trickster. A demon. Okay, okay. I get it. Good. Then get out of here while you still can. But how? This place is full of dead ends. I'm lost. There is one way. 
It leads right through her house. But maybe, maybe you can make it. I will make it, but you're coming with me. You can't help me. There's no way I'm leaving this room. This place is batshit crazy. Stop moping. The sooner we go, the better. I said no! Get your ass off this chair right now and follow me. But... No buts. You'll be fine. I will protect you. Come on. Yes! Wait. There's a door in one of these rooms here. It won't open without a handle. You'll need to make one. Make a door handle? Not a real handle. Just one suited for a door like this. Okay. Cool. I'll deal with that. You just follow me, yeah? It's time to bust out of here. Yes. Right. Safe. Because I have a feeling that motherfucker can kill us. If I'm gonna end up in the wrong place. I think it's important. What's with the pumpkins? Dinner. <laughs> Dinner? What a waste. Oh, lovely. Red goo is oozing out of the smashed pumpkin like blood. Hmm. That's nice. Ara ara. Okay. Careful now. I think the man that follows me went through here earlier. I saved. It's fine. Hopefully. So oh, that was the, the um that was where the doll was. Oh, there's no exit anymore. Uh-huh. Nothing here. We're here. Yeah, that's the door. That's the door I was telling you about. I'll pretend I believe you for now, no matter how crazy this sounds. So, what kind of door handle did you have in mind? Draw. Isn't it obvious? We need to draw it, I think. One. That's suited for a door like this. So skinny, what a terrible role model for little girls. She kind of looks like a brush with that many of thick hair. Oh! Ooh, oh no, I need to go back. <laughs> I need to go back to the pumpkin. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> okay, where was the pumpkin? Was this way, this way, okay. Fun, fun. Okay, and then it was this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And then I need to use this doll on the pumpkin. And now I have a brush. And I need to go back to the door. Oh, man, oh, man. I hope, I hope. I hope. Okay, where was it? Where was it? It was, uh, was, it was uh, this way. This way, I think. This way. No, wait, 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 wait. That's wrong. That's wrong. It's this way. I have no clue. I get lost so easy in the fucking places like this. Yes. Okay. This way. This way. Yeah. Then yeah, there's the, the chair, and then this way, and then uh, around this corner, and we're here. Okay. 
Okay, and then use the doll. And we have a perfect door handle. Now, how do we use it? Push it. Isn't that the character it's from Cat Lady? But the only thing that truly matters is who you think I am. You must be the bitch that poor girl was talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's the cat lady, I think. Come closer. I'm not as scary as they paint me. Please, be my guest. Have some soup. I'm alright. No thanks. Why? Is there something wrong with my soup? Yes. There really, really is. It's blood. <laughs> it's tomato. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. No offense, but I think I'll pass. That's absolutely fine, my dear. But I bet your good friend Joe would gobble up every last bit of it. You know Joe? Oh, I know him well. He's uh, a friend of a friend. Friend of a friend, okay. He came by not long ago. Did you give him your soup? He only tasted it. But he's already building up quite an appetite for it. I can tell. Um, oh, guys, can you tell me if the... If the game is too loud a little bit, like um, as when I am talking, when characters are talking, is it is it uh, too loud? Should I put the game lower? Because unfortunately, Streamlabs is not showing me the accurate representation uh, of my voice because um, my microphone is going through the LinkWave software, and I I don't see the the balance like it it should be shown. I am always on red on Streamlabs. Like on the red bar. <laughs> it's good? Okay, thank you. Who are you? I mean, who are you really? Why? I'm just the bitch some girl told you about. <gasps> you said you have many names. I'm just curious which one is real. I've not used my real name for a long time. I don't need names. I am the queen of maggots. Adored and feared by all. And this is my kingdom of death. Maybe a little louder than usual games, but I can hear you fine over. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I, I realize that it's louder than any other game that we had because I can see on the on the mixer but there is no volume control in this game like whatsoever the only thing I can do is um, 
increase decrease the volume in Streamlabs itself. But there was once another name, am I right? Yes, there was. But why would I tell you about it? You don't even belong here. Just passing through. I have no quarrel with you, young lady. No, I don't want to. Fine. Keep it. Whatever. I was just trying to be friendly. I've been warned about you. I met a young girl who said you were a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like a monster to you? Not really, but looks can be deceiving. And why are you telling me this? I... I guess I felt sorry for the girl. I think you've done something really horrible to her. That, my dear, is none of your business. But between you and me, the bitch had it coming. It was nice chatting about soup, but I think I'll go now. So early? What about the main course? It's been waiting in the oven for a while now. Maybe some other time. Goodbye. Oh, food looks just awful. Why would anyone want to even touch this stuff? Have you changed your mind about the soup? No. I just wanted to borrow this fork for a minute. If you're not going to eat, leave the cutlery for the next guest. Please. Maybe... Have you lost something, dear? I was just... Don't. Um... Maybe this is the depiction how... One more thing. Yeah? Eve sees Would food. Would you kindly blow out one of the candles in the next room? What? Why? It's just a little tradition in my house. I ask all my guests to do that. Okay. I'll think about it. So many candles in a room full of wood, not safe. That's a coffin. Been roses have been dead for a long time. But a lonely seashore. There's something different about this coffin. There's a shot. Okay. I have to do something, probably. What a monstrosity. Okay. Well, I can't do anything else, so I will. I guess. Oh. That that neighborhood. Uh, ow. Oh my God! Someone died because I blow the candle. What? Oh. Okay, she's gone now. He's controlling life and death. I'm 
pretty sure I can see a hidden compartment underneath. And this is why you always put a rug over loose uh, floorboards. Amateurs. <laughs> I can't quite fit my fingers in the gap. I need a pair up to parry with something. Probably fork, maybe? Oh, a crowbar. Noise. I could wreck the whole house with this crowbar, but uh, I wouldn't, obviously. Can I open this door with a crowbar? No. <laughs> I was hoping uh, maybe some kind of optional thing I could do. Obviously, I need to open this coffin. Right, let's do this. Oh, before, okay. So before I, I open the coffin, now we are coming back and gonna play as Joe. Do you think... Do you think I'm pretty? Just about the prettiest girl that's ever walked this earth. Yeah. And that's what I thought when I first saw you. That was five years ago. I'm 29 now. And I feel... I don't know. You're still just as beautiful as you were then. Ah. Oh, of course you would say that now. I mean it. No. I know you. You're just saying that because you're hoping to get laid again. That's all. I'm saying it because I love you. I know. And I wish I could just not think about it, but I... Think about what? You will not understand. Never do it again. 
That's why I've told you. So I could stop. I'll help you. You'll just have to talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? Um... I think therapy at this point is the only way you can do something. I don't think you guys can do anything by yourself. No. I love you, Ivy. I could never be mad at you. Hey, we should get a cat. <laughs> we should totally get a cat. We should totally get a cat. I thought you hated cats. I never said that. It's a little unexpected, but okay. A cat, why the hell not? Maybe a random happy distraction is what we need around here. Just not one of those bald little fuckers. It will be black as night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. And it will stink. And purr. And scratch. Yeah. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Poor cat. What will we name him? Him? Hmm. It was Lucifer. 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 Hmm. Yes. That's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like it. So that's settled then. Maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. You know how there's always plenty of cats around there. Awesome! Joe? Yeah? This is not fucking happening. It's a coffin. I'm buried alive in a goddamn coffin. Help! Oh, that that wasn't a very help. Good. Okay, better. <laughs> Let me out! Oh, Is there anyone there? There's no one out there, Joe. You might as well give up now. It's easier that way. Hey, wait a minute! Wasn't that Virgil's voice? <laughs> hey, what? Who are you? It's been so long. You've forgotten their names long ago. It all just doesn't matter. When you're dead, all there is left is watching. And waiting. Watching. And waiting. Watching. And waiting. Oh, fuck. I think there is a... I can hear cryotic voice here as well. Oh man. If you don't know, don't, don't, just don't. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Yeah, I remember. I think he actually um, um, made made Cat Lady quite popular thanks to his uh, Let's Play. So I guess that makes sense that we'll put him in the second game. How do you know my name? The maggots told us. They told us all about you. Maggots. That look like people. But you mustn't trust them. Because they're maggots. All they want is to... All that maggots want is... To eat your fucking brain, Joe. <laughs> Funny fellas, them maggots. Where am I? This place has many names. Some call it the Void. Some call it the Grave. 
Some call it six feet under. Some call it the tomb. But we like to call it. Wait for it, Joe. The paradise of the rotten flesh. <laughs> Maybe the, those are all the YouTubers that um, helped uh, the game grow uh, when the first one was released. I'm not gonna die like this. There's gotta be a way. Oh, but there is. Look around you. Closely. It seems that someone's left a little gift for our good friend Joe. Lucky him. Always led a charmed life, this one. What is you this? You know very well what it is, Joe. The only way out of here. The only escape. The question is... Will you do it? Are you man enough to do it? Do you have the balls? Will you do what you've gotta do? No, it's a gun. One pull of a trigger, and it's all over. It'll only hurt for a second. Be in charge of your own destiny. You could never have won that battle anyway. It was lost from the start. All there's left is to do the right thing and save your face. Not that there'll be much of it left if you do fire that gun. <laughs> No, I'm not doing it. I think... Uh... Um, I think she's gonna... She's gonna help us. The, um... Because she was opening a coffin. I think I am in that coffin. Well, Joe is. Agnes. That's really my only option. <laughs> Yay! It's you. I love her. <laughs> she is what so were you even cute. Doing in there? I... I really believed I'd been buried six feet underground. If that was the case, I guess I... I would have found a shovel and dug you out. How did you... How did you find me? I did say that if you ever fall, I'll catch you. Remember? <laughs> Where are we? Yeah, not a nice place. We should probably start looking for a way out. Yeah, follow me. And thank you. Thanks. Ah, oh, lovely. Ivy always liked this beach. She spent hours just picking up seashells or throwing pebbles in the water. Oh, so he, so she said very, uh, she fought the very sad, um, Side troll, and he has a memory about it. Interesting. Okay, that's the same. Hey, Joe. Why am I here? I mean, what is my purpose in all this? The doctor said you were important, but he didn't really explain why. Important? I like the sound of that. Bear in mind that the doctor seemed crazy as a loon. Now, don't be jealous, Joe. <laughs> Just because I'm more important than you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But can we please go now? I don't want to see another coffin for the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, that's the same. Oh, nice. This can't be... We're back in Quiet Haven. Sure looks like it. 
Maybe this would be a good time to explain what's going on. Ah! Holy mother of... Let's start from the very beginning. Yay, story time! It's not really the kind of story you'd like to hear. I expected that much, but let's hear it anyway. My wife Ivy has this illness. It's kind of weird. She goes on these diets that go on forever, and then, then she pretends she's okay, but she's still hiding it. But I'm not blind. I could see quite well what went on, and I was worried as hell. I wanted, I needed to help her. So I arranged a little romantic getaway. A weekend in a nice country hotel. This place. But I messed up again. I should have been a better husband. What did you do? I'm not even sure. She didn't want to talk to me at first. When we finally got to our room, I kind of wished we never opened our mouth at all. And the next day she was gone. Gone home? No. Taken away. Kidnapped. I know this sounds absolutely fucking crazy, but... It's something that lives in the mares. Have you seen it? Sort of. It's hidden away for now. Where? Inside the mirror. I'm not sure. It's really confusing. Well, how do we get there? This is the worst part. I have to kill four memories of this monster to open the mirror. What? They're... ghosts. Memories. Is anything here real anyway? This is all just a bad dream, and I'm not gonna think twice about it when it comes to saving Ivy. But... you can't. Dream or not, I can't believe you would do such a thing. What choice do I have? I can't leave Ivy to die. But you can't just murder somebody. Unless... you already did. I only gave her the syringe. I'm starting to think I was wrong about you. Maybe you're not a good guy after all. They're not people. They're hideous, evil beings. And you really believe Ivy's inside the mirror? Yes. You'll change your mind when you see them. The first one practically begged me to kill her. Yeah. Still not a fan of this venture, I'm afraid. But I'll hold my judgment for now. Okay. Anything else I need to know about? Do we need to blow up an atomic bomb at some point? Are we opening an interdimensional portal for the man-eating beast to plunder the Earth? The hotel manageress likes me a little too much. It's totally beyond me how any woman could like a guy like you. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> Do you like her too? No, she's crazy. That explains it. Anything else? You've got someone else's brain. What? Whose brain? I don't know. Some guy. 
He didn't really need it. But I... I liked my brain. <laughs> Sorry. It wasn't there. You can have it back if we ever find it. Well, that's comforting. What else do I need to know? Eh, do I want to tell her about the cat? Eh. Okay, I will be straightforward. I think I accidentally killed a cat. Joe! How do you accidentally kill a cat? I was just trying to catch it. Joe, be honest with me. Are you some sort of psycho? Look, the cat had a key and I needed it. I didn't mean for it to die. I, I don't even know why I brought this up. No, I should know about these things. Any more skeletons in the closet? No, that's pretty much all, except... Didn't you have something for me? What? Just before we got attacked by the Axe Man, you said you had a message. A note or something? Ah, yes. Completely forgot about it. Here, take it. Okay. Lead the way, dude. Let's go save your wife. She'd better be worth it. Lead the way, dude. Invitation card. Oh, that's for the party. It's a signed invitation to the party apparently taking place in the uh, function room A of Quiet Heaven Hotel. It got Joe Davis plus one written on it. Yay, we can take we can take Agnes with us. Woo -hoo! Ah! Fuck me, I'm busy. <laughs> Stop. Okay, I feel we should probably save myself just in case. Auto save is, you know, you, you never, you shouldn't, you shouldn't trust auto save. Whoa. Okay. I was just testing. I was checking if I can go to, to, to like through this door. That has a little bit of color, at least. No way. Do you know what this is? Yes. What is this? It's a house, Joe. <laughs> Not just any house, you smartass. My wife and me. We used to dream that one day we'd get a place outside the city. Oh! Find every detail. A two-story white house with red flowers at the front. She always liked red flowers. And I would drive a red Cadillac. My dad had one back in the States. Like that thing over there? By the shed? That's why it has color. Yes. <laughs> exactly like this. God damn it. Why did we fuck it all up? Can't do anything else? What's inside? Oh, phone. Even if I was, it, w it was working, I wouldn't know who to call. Those bastards. <laughs> Kitchen. The heart of so many happy memories that never happened. When did food become such a problem in our life? Uh, I'm not really hungry. It's empty. It's full of weed. Hey, what's that? This? That's... Mm. Just a jump for a volcano. <laughs> Just a jar full of oregano. Oh, I see. You do a lot of cooking, Joe? No, not really. I just like the herbs. I'll take some with me, actually.
It's in your it's in your dream house. Hmm, right, lovely. I see. Oh fuck my life. Is this the last incarnation of Sophie? There is almost nothing human about her. I doubt I get a reply. Besides, I don't really want to talk to her. I want to kill her, but how? Uh-huh. Julio. Sophie turned into a bearded man. Lovely. Cool, cool, cool. Uh -huh. The staircase seems to add uh, and interrupt. Okay, interruptly, like nothing is there. Okay. Um, Ravri, I have a weed. I don't know. I I can't kill that that uh, Sophie part. I guess. Now. Uh huh. Wow, the transition though. It's blocking access to the lift. Maybe Agnes can help me push it out of the way. Give me a hand, Agnes. I know this one. It's uh It's Coldplay, right? <laughs> Is it Coldplay? No. It's not Coldplay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but I'm sure I've heard it before. Keep playing. I've almost got it. You're pretty good, Joe. Nah, mm, uh, I haven't played in years. Anyway, that's enough. We don't want to spend all day fooling around. Oh, did she remember? No. I just don't play as often as I used to. God damn it! Um. Right. So what now? Oh my God! Wait. What? What items do we have? We have invitations, so we can go for a party. We have weed, lovely. And we have this castor oil, which I have no idea with what I should combine. Now let's go for the party. I guess. Happy birthday! There, looks like there is a big party taking place, but where are all the guests? Is this one of them? I think so. It doesn't look like a monster to me. No. But it doesn't mean she hasn't got one hiding inside of her. It's hard to say because of the mask, but she seems pretty upset. Go away. Don't. Don't look at me. Please. It, it, is she like maybe having some kind of, um, um, I guess, worried or being incredibly scared of getting old but why he said <laughs> he said i'm fat and ugly and that i should go and kill myself <laughs> i 
Whoever said it, he's an idiot. No, he's right. <laughs> he's always right. Person, I was a fool thinking you could ever fall in love with someone like me. Fuck Harrison. You'll find someone better. You don't even understand love. There will never be anyone like him. He's an asshole. But without him, I'm nothing. There's only one thing left to do. Oh, the only thing that comforts me. The only thing that's left. Compulsive eating? You're gonna eat. Yes, I'm gonna eat. Mm. Like a pig. Mm. Like a disgusting, hungry mm. animal. I can eat until this stupid, fat body explodes and scatters the room with my bloody entrails. It doesn't have to be this way. Maybe. But I've already made up my mind. So please, leave me alone now. I just want to sit here quietly a little longer before I <laughs> go away. <laughs> to Harrison. Take your hands off my jacket, you asshole. There's something in one of the pockets. Maybe I should ask Agnes to distract him for a moment. Well, I want to talk to him first. He looks really smug and stinks of booze. How's the party? It's all good. Go ahead, man. Grab a beer like I did. You look like you've had one too many. Well, it's none of your fucking business, dude. Just try not to cause any trouble. Who, me? I'm a lover, not a fighter. But just between me and you and the lovely bride over there, the birthday girl's got the huts for me, man. That girl's ass... That girl's ass is the size of a football stadium. I don't think I can do it without getting super wasted. You're a disgusting human being. Yeah, man. She is a disgusting human being. Hey, you wouldn't have a, a cigarette, would you? I'm all out and I'm fucking dying for a smoke. No, sorry. Oh, fuck. Well, come back if... if you find one. I'll be right here. I know where it is. But in a sec. Agnes, can you keep him busy for a moment? Sure, but why? I want to take a look at his coat. But we can see it quite well from here. Yeah, but not inside the pockets. Hey there, got a moment? You will not believe what happened. I just have to tell someone about it. A key to his room, sweet. Uh, if you stop talking for just a moment, sweetheart, how about I show you my room? I don't think so. Come on, girl. You know you want to. Leave it, man. She said no. Huh? Are you deaf or something? No means no. So stop pestering her. 
And how is that any of your fucking business? We can go outside and I'll show you how, you asshole. Nah, I've had too much to drink to fight you. So just fuck off, both of you. You okay? Yeah, thanks. I shouldn't have asked you to do this. That guy's a douchebag. I thought you were gonna punch him. I can still punch him if you want. No. I'm glad you didn't. It's not worth it. But thanks for stepping in, Joe. You're a real gentleman. Aww. Cute! Okay, um... Two or three. Rooms are on the second floor. Skill issue. Wait, wrong button. There is a torn out page sticking out of the book. I would take it. Eh, uh, money! Sticky tape and some money! That's it? That's it. Okay. Now we can get cigarettes! The problem is who will light it for me? I want to check that page here. Lady in a... What? Lady in a hat, always watching, always smiling. She must not see blind the bitch. Okay. Ah, the painting! Okay, but how are you supposed to blind it? Blind the bitch, okay. I'm guessing 207 is gonna be important as well. Blind the... Maybe with a tape! Oh, 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 oh! Cover her eyes with a tape! Um... Right, um, okay. Uh, floor three. Mm, shit, wrong button. Noise. I will save as well. Nice game. Okay, there's a door. Oh god, Agnes. A bottle of gin, not really my sort of thing. It's so pure. Have I seen this woman before? No, that's impossible. 
But this is why he never came back. Oh. Ah, that's doctor! Oh my god. The most expensive to get in the world. Well, not gonna lie, cigarettes are usually like this. Like, you know, this is n nothing. Okay, I have a saw now. Okay. Um. Okay, I can give him. Um. A cigarette, but. Okay, I can't combine items in. Um, in my inventory. Because at first I thought I could combine the weed with a cigar. Ah, okay, right, I will, um... I will give him this, the cigars. It, it, it seems there is no... Oh, right, Jesus. Buttons! Cigarette? Oh, fuck yeah. Hey man, you can't smoke here. See that sign? Are you for real? Who gives a shit? Look, you'll just trigger off the fire alarms and the sprinklers. Do we really want to get drenched? Well, that would ruin my hair. There's a bathroom just there. Go smoke in the bathroom. Now that's a great idea. <gasps> Laters. And now I'm gonna do the whole thing. Now I need to do the gas thing. Done already. Yeah, I have to make it quick. Someone's left a fucking mess in there. Okay, we need to trigger gas. Um, okay, where was that? Um, ground floor. A staircase. the gas um what the fuck did I trigger the gas or what did I do but that was a weird transition and I teleported back uh okay game Do you want another one? Yeah, why the fuck not? I know, I know. This lady doesn't like the smoke. I'll be right back. Something broke. Fuck. Game. Oh, come on.
Okay. Are you gonna let me now? Hello? I need to switch the gas. Hello? Oh. Bring it back. Bring it back? What is that supposed to mean? Well, I did take something from him. What? You don't want to know. Can you give it back? No, but now he's being a bitch about it. But isn't he dead? Somehow it didn't stop him from pulling that lever back. And I've got a feeling he'll do it again and again. So if you can't give him what he wants, then maybe we can bring him something else instead. Yeah. Uh-huh. around for a replacement. Oh man! Pick, 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 pick. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go. Okay, so that was supposed to happen, right? That that guy switched the fucking. Okay, okay, okay. Get you. I get you. I I was a little freaked. I was like, hey, wait a minute. Like, why am I back there? The fuck. Give him a pig brain, give him a pig. Give him a pig brain, give him a pig. Pig, pig, pig. Sorry, dude. Poor piggy. Don't start feeling sorry for it. It was born to die. Pigs are really intelligent, you know. Their brains are very similar to ours. A pig is a pig. That's all it is. Use the fucking uh, softening. Uh, fuck. Always buttons are right. Use Agnes. Can you just leave? Okay, she's gonna cover her eyes. <laughs> it looks just like a human brain. I'm sorry, pig! Oh yeah, now we don't need anything to preserve it. Alright. There you go, dude. You can have the brain back. Are you happy now? I guess if we are going Agnes is making a, a, a much better use of it, I can return it. But maybe I can find some other brain? Yeah, we already have it. Um. There you go. Are you happy? There. I've brought it back. And there's a main gas supply switch. It's off. I've switched it on. And now it's on. Is the, is the uh, dead man happy now? Right, Julio. He's not gonna switch it back off again. Hmm. Hopefully. Uh, it doesn't matter which way we go. We still need to get to the elevator. To turn on the gas back on. Is this gas I smell? Don't worry. I've got it under control. Why is she not covering her eyes when we enter the bathroom? That's pretty gruesome. Shit. 
you want another one? Yeah, why the fuck not? I know, I know. This lady doesn't like the smoke. Bye. I'll be right. Definitely. Agnes. Well. At least he went out with a banger. <laughs> now he is half the man he used to be. Stop! <laughs> it's true when they say that smoking kills. Shut up, Joe. Just shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's messed up. Haha, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> shut up, Joe. Just shut up. Well done, Joe. I hope you're happy now. I... I had to do this. Yeah, yeah. I know. But did I tell you I'm allergic to human intestines splattered all around me? You are? Just do what you gotta do and tell me when we're out of here. And... Stay close, please? I will. Ah! Agnes! You alright? No, I'm not alright. What happened? I tripped over... some... legs. Harrison, always an asshole. <laughs> Even after death. I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just go. Mind your head, Agnes. Ouch! What is my gun? Is clear yet? It depends. It depends? It depends on what? It depends on how you feel about severed human heads. Not that good, to be perfectly honest. Then keep your eyes shut. We're almost done here. Bitch? Why did it say bitch on the wall? Uh huh, cool. Huh? What? Receipt? Rotten human head, it seems to be looking straight at me. Eat me. I'm okay. That's crazy, but the message carved on the head, it makes me think I should use it for something. You're still not looking, are you? Why? Is it okay to look now? No. No. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Don't worry, spell, it's fine. Um, probably I need to give that head to um, my fattening smooth recipe. Deep fried belly fat. Uh -huh, lovely. One pint of castor oil, glass of spell. He sp spirit, one human head, oregano. Oh no, we're gonna have to cook it and then give it to her. Oh man! A belly. How am I supposed to get a belly fat? Oh man. Oh, it's a recipe, not receipt. I read that wrong. <laughs> Okay, I have a castor oil. I, I have a spirit, actually. I got the spirit. I have a human head now. I have orega oregano in quotes. That's um, uh, the uh, weed. I'm all 
Valif. Blend it together and enjoy. That that has to go to the kitchen, but I don't. Belly fat. Why I don't have a belly fat here? Oh, there you go. Now I have everything. Okay, so now um, I need to go to the kitchen in that case. It's just on the ground floor. I need to fry it though. Okay, right, so. <sighs> funny, funny, funny. Um, I can't do it without oil. Mm -hmm. So, what? Th this oil? Okay. So you're cooking us dinner now? No, but no, it's not for us. Oh, oh. good, good. No, don't. Because you're not really meant to fry things in castor oil, you know. No, I think I'll try anyway. Okay, right. and then it's that that. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, warm it up. Um. Do I add the oregano now or later? Hey, I found this fork in the house with all the coffins. You might want to use it for whatever you're doing there. Thanks. Thanks. You're mm -hmm. welcome. Oh, right, I have it now, right. So now that's blended. And then it's um, oregano, <laughs> and then it's the, the gin, and then it's that head. What are you doing there, Joe? I don't want to know. You don't want to know. Is that... Is that a human head? If you don't like it, don't look. But... You can't. Watch me. Why so sassy now? I think it's missing? Oh, for fuck's sake. What's missing? Deep fried belly, glass of spirit, one human head, and oregano. Should I still add the oil as well? Oh, right. I thought me frying the, the fat was enough.
I'm sorry for freaking out like that, but that grinding noise, it was too much. I know. But remember, we're doing this for Ivy. Yeah, I know. She'd better be worth it. Mm -hmm. Come on, then. And don't forget to take your smoothie. <laughs> Why well, you have to say it that way? I think this, uh, I think the dress being still white is this still a uh, representation of, of, you know, her in general, her innocence and pureness. That's why she's never stained by the blood in any way. Uh, search for. She got spooked by the explosion in the bathroom. No, not spooked. Did you notice that Harrison's body went missing from the home? I bet it's got something to do with her. Oh, you think she took no. it? But where? Her room? Hmm, maybe. But we don't really know which room that is. There's got to be some other place we could try first. Harrison's room? The one on the second floor? There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. No way. She oh, please tell me I'm not gonna see this. I beg your game. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I really don't want it. I don't want it. Please don't show me that. I am completely fine with cartoon gore, seriously, but not this. Oh! Ivy! How? Oh. You're alive. Well, not anymore. What's wrong with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. No. It's Ivy. Just there. On the floor. Really? Where? Of course. Ah, of course! I can't see anything. She was there just a minute ago. I saw her. Get torn in half. Joe, you're either losing the plot or... You really love her, don't you? She wanted me to let her go. But I just couldn't do it. No matter what, I could never stop loving her. The thing with us women is that sometimes we say one thing and mean exactly the opposite. Did you ever notice? Well, yeah, I guess. I wasn't there, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't want you to go. Then I was right for once. Ha! <laughs> I'd give you a medal if I had one, <laughs> but I don't, so how about a fist bump? Oh, it's you. Hello. Come in. Come in. Oh, 
Aren't you going to say hello, darling? We've got visitors. You must forgive Harrison. He's feeling a bit poorly today. Sophie, this man is dead. Dead? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it's just a legless carcass. Can't you see? Oh, sure he's a little hurt. There's nothing a little bit of TLC won't cure, right? We've had a good talk, and he's promised to change his ways. Now, he will never walk away from me again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sure he won't. I've got something for you. Oh, how nice! What is it? I found this recipe for a smoothie. My secret recipe! Oh, I couldn't remember where I left it. Well, I've got it, and I made it for you. Sweet! It's been one crazy day. I'm ravenous. I... I should be on a diet, but... I can start from tomorrow, right? Just don't tell Harrison. taste in my mouth. Do you add oregano? Oh! Oof! My stomach! I feel sick and bloated. What's happening to me? Bloated, literally. Oh, man. What have we done, Joe? We did what we had to do. I'm curious if there's any other way to do this. Right, I guess it's time to go to that mirror. Joe, do you realize how hard it is to wash blood off these carpets? <sighs> we just can't carry on like this. It's time for a serious talk. I'm headed back to my office upstairs. Please come and see me. I have a proposition for you. What if I'm not interested? You will be. Trust me. Joe, whatever she's got to say, do not trust this woman. Yeah? I just feel it. She's not a real person. Eh, you don't say. I think all of them are, are part of Ivy in some way or the other. Or Ivy's consciousness. Uh, where's our office? Is it uh, is that the pan the the fourth floor? They can get there. No, still can't get there. Oh, I can. Never mind. Oh, it's here. All right. Oh, that's that, right. But we still don't have, um... Uh, we still don't have the way to kill that, that, um... Um... That last part, because we still didn't do that, okay. 
Right. Ah, oh, and here's my American boy. I knew you'd come, eh? but I didn't think you'd bring a chaperone with you. She's hanged on her as as her shadow. Hell? Zebeth, welcome. Very gory. <laughs> and creepy. <laughs> I should kill you right here, right now, for all you've done to us. What's stopping you, Joe? I'm not a murderer. No. But wait, isn't this young Sophie's blood on your jacket? I didn't give her the injection. She did it all by herself. Frankly, I don't really care. But I do miss the cat. Poor little fella. Just for the record, I didn't kill the fucking cat. Why do you care anyway? You don't even like cats. Either way, you should stop worrying about it. Lucifer was Ivy's cat, not yours. Now he's dead. And so is your marriage. Lucifer? Lucifer, Midnight, Teacup. Cats have many names. Didn't you know? It's time you've told me who you really are. You know very well who I am. I am your secret little desire, Joe. Your perfect woman. I'm never bitter, or tired, or not in the mood. Instead, I'm composed, and strong, and spontaneous. I don't burden you with my baggage of problems. I don't poison your life. I don't hide from you. Now is the perfect time for us to reconcile. To forget about that little bitch, Ivy. To run away, and be happy. What do you say, Joe? No, I'm not that kind of person. No, you're a good guy. After all, you did listen to your wife when she wanted to share her problems. And you were always there for her. But no one is perfect, Joe. Sometimes even when we think we're right, we're so wrong. You know what? I helped you once before, when I left that key on the desk. I'll help you again. Just to prove that I'm not as evil as you seem to think. But let's play a little game first. I want you to follow me to a special place. Uh, no. We're not following you anywhere, right, Joe? The little mouse can talk. Hmm. You have a strange taste in women, Joe. I've got something you need. A perfect weapon. Just follow the trail. I'll be waiting. Uh, We're not gonna do it, are we? I know you don't trust her, but we might have no choice. A perfect weapon. Tempting. Her reflection is still there, though. And another mirror shattered. Go back, okay. The perfect weapon, she says. Is that, do I have any other choice? Her shoe. Uh huh. So what? Ground floor?
I still think she is uh, some part of Ivy. Like all of the, all of all of those women are. I think. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh man. No, the mirror is not gonna be open because there's last part of Sophie that's inside the dream house. That in front of a TV. No clue where she will go. Where was that office? Of her? On a four. So is there a possibility she is on the... On a higher floor? I'm gonna wander around now, because I have no fucking clue. No. Hmm. Hmm. One more time. She'd probably go downstairs. <clears throat> Second floor? We still don't do everything on the second floor. I personally don't think we did. There's a lot of doors. That I think we need to open. I still think this is gonna be an important door. Well, fuck my life. I have no clue where she, where she is at. I'll check the mirror. But I don't think. The game is treating you like you know what the characters know? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, we are probably like 70 or 80% complete already, so... This is not the beginning of the game. A lot of stuff was already established. There is a lot of to interpretation.
I'm still hoping for those fucking letters, man. No, there's no more. There's only one letter. It's weird. No, she said follow the tr the trail, the trail. So she's le leaving her clothes. Um, she left her shoe in front of the stairs, but I don't know where she at. Cause we are on the floor four. The trial starts on the floor four. Alright, there you go. It's her shoe. Follow the tray. The, the tray. It's her shoe. And now it's here. It's locked. So much for following the trail, but this door leads to the staircase. She probably gone downstairs. Well, I have no clue. I could check the ground floor, I guess. Yeah, one more time and check all the rooms. I don't see any clothes, clothing pieces. Oh, there you go, found it. You went this way. Black talking. Clearly, she's mm, living here for me. Kitchen? Why kitchen, though? It's the black skirt that she had on. Ooh! There is a secret fucking fridge. Lovely. A secret passage inside the fridge. Should, should I be surprised? Oh, funny. What p white panties? Wow, thanks. We must be getting closer. She is already taking most of her clothes off. I really don't want to see see her undressed, though. I f I have a feeling she's gonna turn into. A monster. Of Come her. on, Agnes. Just a second. I think I saw something. No, Agnes, no. Turns out it was nothing. Agnes! Hey, wait for me! Agnes, we're gonna get separated! Joe! Let me in! Shit! Use the crowbar and open the fucking door! Oh, ah, ha, ha, ha. Wow, who would have fought? Who would have fought? Only darkness this way. Agnes! What took you so long, handsome? Ah! Cover your eyes! Welcome to my private bedroom, Joe. Come closer. Don't be shy. Grab the axe! Why won't you just explain all of this to me? What's there to explain? Isn't it obvious that we fancy each other? I don't fancy you. No? Then tell me this. 
on your way here when you found my panties. Did you examine them? <laughs> yes, I did, but only for the research purposes. Yes, but I was just... No excuses, Joe. You couldn't resist and that's okay. I wanted you to examine them. But really, I just want to understand what's going on here. Oh, but didn't we already have this conversation? Twice. Well, I still didn't get any answers. What do you expect from me, Joe? I'm not interested in fulfilling your little quest to save Ivy. If anything, I hope you fail. And then I can have you all to myself. I've seen this axe before. This axe? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. But it's just an ordinary fire axe. We keep it here in case of, you know, fire. There's blood on it. <gasps> Maybe just a drop or two. Uh -huh. What is it doing here? It's a gift for you. I told you. This ox will be your final weapon. Uh. Why are you trying to seduce me? Because you and me are a perfect match, Joe. We are meant to be together. Just imagine this. No more silent treatments. No more crazy talk. No more of any of that shit. You don't deserve it. You never did. You're expecting me to murder somebody with this axe? Oh, don't play innocent, Joe. You've already murdered a bunch of people today, and some animals. They were not real people. Look, I'm not saying it bothers me. All I want is for us to be together. But that's not going to happen unless you take this axe and remove that one last obstacle. You? Well, you could take an axe and kill me, I suppose. But that wouldn't be very wise. And why is that? The way I see it, you've been the biggest obstacle all along. There is something way worse, Joe. You fail to realize that because she's always had this smile on. What are you talking about? She's gonna say Agnes. The creature standing right behind you. You didn't mistake her for a friend by any chance, did you? That sweet, naive little Agnes. Her only purpose was to stop you in your tracks. She was lying to you all along. Just look at her. This, this is, is the no. real Agnes. No, 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 I don't believe Parasite it. Parasite that you have to kill. No. No. I don't believe you. No, no, it's no. It's your choice. But deep down, you know what you've got to do. Grab that ox. Take a big swing. No. And fuck her up. No. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually, thank you. Um, I would like to you do this too. Joe. You really think I'll fall for these lies? For you, this is the end. Oh. 
Oh god, what was that? What was it? Was here? Some people, welcome. <laughs> uh, we are playing a, a horror game. Well, psychological horror, I guess. I don't like jump scares. There, there's a very specific types of horror that I play. I bet she came through here. Great, she locked the door behind, but that's not gonna stop me. Confusion. Okay, where, where, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, wanna check. Okay, so we have saves here. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Um, um, go back, please. Max 45 saves, okay. I want to go back! Okay, close, thank you. The, the fucking controls in this game sometimes. Thank you, Sambilar. It's Halloween time. Oh, flowers turn into a body. It's addressed to me. Looks like I don't need the axe anymore. We don't? Oh, okay. What's that? Oh, even worse. Even worse! Even worse! Oh, that's Cat Lady, right? Be all sorts of names. If I play the piano after dark for two minutes. But no one does anything when there's real bloody noise in the middle of the night. <sighs> Axe is gone. It seems to be coming from Joe's flat. Someone knocked it over. Yeah, to get to the... Oh no, it's running low again. The door's wide open. Hello? End of the road, bitch. Just ask the cat.
makes me feel like I am being watched. No, oh, yeah, I know. I thought you're gonna say something different about it. Salary, welcome. I think we are close to the ending. Ivy! No! She died? Dead. Fuck! All of this. For nothing? Are you fucking kidding me? Except I will never give up on you. Never. There's still a way to bring you back. Just don't start ringing after all of a sudden. This call leads right into the Morrison's old flat. It's chained to the floor, very odd. Looks like flies are having a great time on that disgusting plate of rotten food. Why would anyone have a look on a bed on lock on a bedroom dresser? What's he hiding in there? What was Joe planning to do with this robe? Nice. Thank you, game. Because I forgot which floor. I'll tie it to the chair. It should easily hold my weight. It's mixing, it's, it's strangely mixing with a reality as well and... Where do you think you're going? What you got there, son? Is that your dad? Another dead body to add to the list? You know, your mother always loved Robbie more. He was such a happy kid, always smiling. And you, hmm. you let him fucking die. It was an accident, and you know it. You were supposed to watch him. Is it so hard to take care of your younger brother for five fucking minutes? He didn't want to listen. Well, it doesn't even matter anymore. My life ended the moment. Your mother. You remember. You were there too. You didn't even cry. You kill herself? Jesus. Goodbye, Dad. I'll finish my cigarette and I'll go. There's nothing left for me here. You're a grown man. His home is yours now. Enjoy. Jesus, that's messed up.
Buffy, welcome. Uh, sorry, Buffy, I can't do the pot because the game is like on a full screen and I, when I click the button, it's not doing anything. Ah, I see you have taken matters into your own hands, young man. I do appreciate a good initiative, but I'm afraid it's not going to work. I thought you were dead. No! No! Death is but a state of mind, and my mind has always been a wandering one. What do you want? I felt inclined to inform you that what you are trying to achieve here is, well, pointless. Why? It worked before. I brought Agnes back. This whole idea was flawed from the start. There simply isn't enough power here to alter the subject's state of mind. No one has that kind of power. Well, except the subject herself, perhaps. But as you see, sadly, she is not willing to cooperate. Then what am I supposed to do? Your only option would be to turn around, leave, and never come back here again. Just like that. You've caused quite a stir, you see. Not everyone might perceive your actions as an act of chivalry. They... they won't understand. They never do. Nothing is impossible. You are a stubborn one. So fine, go and see for yourself. Do it. Just do it. Now make your dreams be dreams. <laughs> Take so much electricity to power up this thing. Should be able to monitor every pulse on this. Screaming. Great. This can only mean one thing. Joe's lost the plot. Oh no! I always knew there was something wrong with him. Just stay calm, Susan. You can deal with this. One step at a time. I've been there before. It always starts with a weapon. This arm could be useful in so many ways. If you were alive, that uh, blade would been already stuck in your in my throat for sure. Oh, blade! I have to be careful not to cut myself. There is an old rag stuck inside the pipe. Maybe I should just take it out. I'm having a long hot I'm having a long hot bath once I'm done with this, but not here obviously. You're very chill about this. It's dripping now. Okay. That could be something. Someone put a new lock on this door. I have a chair. <coughs> he really took it out on this chair. A terrible idea. Once upon a time, I made a pretty nice weapon out of a chair, but I can't do it better now. If 
if you... It's you again, sadly only a shadow of your former self, but maybe you can help me again. Cooking here? Is this oh god? There are char remainings of cat inside. Oh, lovely. Is this is he se seriously lost the plot? Is he like maybe never? Uh, healed after Ivy died and he's living in this like completely messed up a perception of the of the reality when he thinks that he can bring her back and those mannequins are somehow kind of representing that That is messed up. I can build a weapon here. missing but what except maybe unscrew a... but I don't need any light bulbs and what if I screw this skull on top to make it more sturdy. Right. Done. The ultimate cat lady weapon. Uh, I'm taking it with me. What can we do with the hand though? something shiny stuck inside the pipe but there's oh sorry there's no way i'm putting my arm in that filthy square oh man maybe i can grab that uh, mannequin hand oh man let me let me try Cloth would be enough. Or I need to find something else. Okay, no. Um, maybe something else. Has it worked? Ivy? No. You useless piece of junk. You worthless fucking shit. Uh, 
Maybe, maybe she lost the fight with bulimia and he's blaming himself. I wouldn't worry about it, mate. That girl was the size of a jet plane. And now she's out because she didn't want to play the game. That's pretty fair if you ask me. Mm. It's people like you who made her think this way. No matter how many times I told her she was beautiful. It was always there, this sickness, this twisted state of mind. It's all your fault. Your lies. Your idea of a perfect woman. But she was already perfect. Why can't you all fucking see that? A man never lies, Joe. You know what she saw looking in it? Mm-hmm. But she is nothing like that. What difference does it make now? You found a way to fix that, didn't you, Joe? Because you always knew what's best for her. She was starving herself to death. <laughs> well, you know what they say. No pain, no gain. Did, did you like force her? That's not the way, man. I was just trying to save her. It's not your fault. Robbie, I'm so... So sorry. I miss you. I know. And I'm sorry too. What do I do now? Don't bother, young man. He's already gone. But if he could answer that, he would have said, Give up. This is the end. Accept it and embrace it. This is not the end. Find another way. Naive little fool. You are the sixth parasite and the sixth changes everything i have no idea what you are talking about you crazy woman sup joe missed me please tell me you're real Joe, deep inside, you know I'm not. But without me, you can never bring Ivy back, because I finally got it. I know who I am, and I know why I'm here. You are that part of Ivy that I fell in love with, and that dress is the dress she got married to me in. Now you recognize it. I'm... I'm a bloke. I don't think about dresses much. But I remember it now. Good. Then there's only one thing left to do. But... No. You can't. It's okay, Joe. Just switch it on. Let's bring her back to life. Can I just talk to you last last time? One last time or something? Joe. If this works.
be good to her. I would never hurt you, and you know that. We can start again here. When you smile, I told you she was I a part like of the her. Happiest man alive. That thing you do when you laugh. I can be myself around you. I've been making myself sick. We can beat this shit together, Ives. Are you mad at me? Those are my choices. I could never be mad at you. Happen to have a zero tolerance for sons of bitches. Poor girl, I was too late to save you. You're late, Mrs. A. I heard noises and are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fresh as a daisy. And I managed just fine on my own, thank you. What kind of trouble did you get yourself into this time? Uh, the usual. Just another human parasite. You killed Joe Davis? Afraid so. Turns out we were living next door to a psychopath. Just look at what he did to his wife. Oh, holy shit. She's nothing but skin and bones. Has he been starving her? Well, pardon me. I forgot to ask. What the hell? Don't touch her. He's been frying her with these electric wires. So stay back, you see. There's a switch over there. Let's shut it down. Wait! I think... I think she's alive. Oh, for crying out loud. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Go! Countryside hotel. The kind you always like. We can start again. This is a thing of an ending loop? We will start again there. Skeletons. 
わ。I will wait for the credits to end because they are incredibly loud. <laughs> Yeah, those are YouTubers. I know it. Nah, I know it. But I still don't understand that whole like when the doors shut, where me and Agnes got separated, then the messed up Joe came out of it, and then he took off the mask. A oh, Polish person. <laughs> I thought we we're gonna get to that like we're gonna get to exactly that part like like we did with the coffin thing we like looped perfectly well um top quality game we finished it on the one stream because I couldn't let go um Incredible. And are there multiple endings or no? Because I thought they were, but maybe I was actually wrong. investigating the cause of fire that broke out in an apartment building at Hell Road l last night. Firefighters have discovered several bodies inside uh, and confirmed that okay, they've been dead with the fire when the fire started. Suspected of the crime is Joe D, one of the residents of the building. A witness saw him carrying a charred body the car the police are looking for him but as for now 
his whereabouts are unknown. Noise. And the game is uh, exiting itself. Um, so... Fucking fuck my life. I, I missed just one fucking skull. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so what ending would I get if I had the max? God damn it. We are checking that on YouTube. I'm not replaying the whole shit. No fucking way. <laughs> God damn it. Me. I feel so disappointed in myself. Oh my God. You need zero skulls for C and 27 for B. Also, I got the best one in that case because I got ending A. Did I? That ending A. Um, if I saw that correctly. Uh, down, wall, best ending. Um. A, B, and C. Okay. Golden ending. Fuck my life. Everything that's holy. Okay. Ah, there was like 2009 release. So I actually, I actually didn't know about it. I mean, I heard. All right, so that's ending A. Um, a sec. So that R ending. Yeah, so that's R ending, I think. Mm-hmm. The kind you always like. Sure, I'll be right back. What? She's got a pulse. We need an ambulance. Mitzi? She's gone already. But she never got on fire and... Oh my god! She kill her? Oh, oh my God! She's gonna lay there and die. Hey, gorgeous.
<laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! Why I didn't get that ending? We're good. What did they do wrong? That one was definitely better. What did I mess up? I actually don't know what I messed up. Fucking games with multiple endings. <laughs> my life <laughs> it's always like this it's always like this man every fucking time it's always like this still breathing eh Actually, I was like, should I, should I have done that? I don't know. You are one tough son of a bitch, Joe. But I've got bad news, neighbor. This crazy cat lady knows how to deal with nasty parasites like you. So I'll get the devil. Oh, I'll get the devil out of you, Joe Davis. She took the body? Meow. Well, it is what it is. 
God fucking damn it, I can't fucking believe I messed it up one thing and I got the fucking ending B. <laughs> save me, God, save me. This is a joke. I am so mad. <laughs> Devil, welcome, thank you. Uh, no, I only found one. <laughs> I only found one and I didn't know where the next one is. Um No <laughs> Massage message <laughs> fucking can't spell <laughs> Fucking fucking again <laughs> <laughs> Message <laughs> Can't fucking spell I don't know if anyone is actually only showing that to be honest But I only found one Maybe there was more I don't know There was more? <laughs> Dumb <laughs> Dumb <one> massage <laughs> Fuck my life Like my fucking life, seriously. There's three parts? No, I only found one! There's no one showing that on YouTube because the game is so old! <laughs> oh well. It's still a fucking incredible game. Well, I guess you guys have a have a motivation to play it yourself and do it better than me. The game on is currently on the uh, because it's you know Spooktober. It's on the promo and only costs two two pounds. So go for it, buy it, play it yourself. It's a very good game, as you saw. It was incredible. Uh, maybe this and don't blow the candle. <laughs> That's what I what I want to say. Don't do it. 